Hello everybody, my name is Bohmir and today it's a grey day. The first reason for that is that uh, I have a new camera, so since now the videos will be much better. And the second and third reason for that is that I finished my own ramp pump and I attached a new pressure tank made of fire extinguisher and I also finished my own weight valve. With this ramp pump we had a problem that there were some bubbles, air bubbles in the delivery pipe and the water pressure wasn't so high because of that. So we solved the problem by putting the ramp pump to the water. There is a lot of back pressure and the distance between the waste wall and the pump wall valve is too short and there is so big hammer effect that uh, the back pressure actually sucked also air to the air tank and when the air tank was full the bubbles went to the delivery pipe. Unfortunately as you can see the stick with weight is not in good shape already after one month of use. There is quite big wobble and that's a shame. Hello, father. Ty to točíš bez ty? No jo. For the proper function of the ramp pump, we have to get rid of the bubbles. Yeah, you can see now the bubbles are coming out. So let's have a closer look to the new parts of the ramp pump. Here we have quite a boring tank made of fire extinguisher. But what's more important is this new waste valve. We made the waste valve much bigger than on almost any kind of ramp pump because uh, there should be exactly the same flow as in the tube. And the tube is 5 fourths of inch. That's 31.5 millimeters and exactly the same diameter we have here in the head of the of the valve. 
Let's check the pressure of the intake pipe. I will open the delivery gate fully. Then we have almost no pressure. And I will close the gate quite slow. And we can read on the manometer something below 0.3 bars. That means that the downfall is something below 3 meters, 2.8 or something. Now let's start the ramp pump. We have to prime it, so I will press the wave once. Okay, nothing happens because there is no pressure in the air tank. Twice. And third time. And the ramp pump is running. Now let's go for the maximum pressure that is possible to make with this ramp pump. So now we have maximum and it says 4.3 for 4.4 bars. That means that we can deliver water to height of 43 or 44 meters. Now let's connect the delivery pipe. And open the waste gate. And let's start the pump again. I will switch off the ramp pump. And we can see on the manometer that there is 1.6 bars approximately. So that means that we are delivering water to the height of 16 meters. The important things about this waste valve are that uh, it's fully adjustable. You can adjust the weight, you can add there as many weights as you want. And then you can adjust the drop very, very precisely. So it's much better than with the swing check valves. There you can't adjust anything. <laughs> 